Okay. Another quick live video. Well, I hope it be quick. I probably don't show every brush I clean. I'm going to show as much as I can. Hold on. I'm trying to prop this thing right. So that sit up here. So you can see what I'm doing. I got this kit from um, TJ Maxx. And I think it's really a good kit. It's by uh, the company. I think it's, it's it's called Clover. One second. I'm gonna prop this camera to where it tilts down towards the sink. See this? Um, what is this called? Brush egg. This was this is what I usually wash my brushes with my makeup brushes with this called brush egg. And it's just this thing here. I got it from a dollar from on Wish a uh, long time ago, I guess about a year ago. But now I'm going to use this little rubber thing here which I'm I stuck it on the back of this glass uh, platter. So it's it's got suctions and stuff on the back. Let's see, can you see the suctions? It has six sections where you can stick it to something. Probably they prefer you to stick it to the sink, but I'm sticking it to this platter because I can tilt it. I can tilt it in the sink like that. Hold on. I'm trying to prop this up where because you guys can see it. I can tilt it in the sink like this. Rigging it up so it can sit tilted. I want it to sit tilted in the sink so that um, I can clean and you guys can see also. I wasn't trying to use that side, but I'm going to have to use that side and use this on the side. Okay, so you can see the uh, mat here. Now this one comes with uh, a soap, uh, brush cleaning soap. It says brush and blender cleaner. Um, so I'm going to use this soap. Here's my dirty brushes. Not as many as the last time, but a few. And then I still have my... Um, this is a generic, the Target brand um, antibacterial hand soap um, that I use too for my brush. I have it upside down because I only got a little bit left. But this is also had this is an antibacterial soap and a moisturizer. So I use that on my brushes as well to kill any bacteria in my brushes. And hi, I'm right here. I'm trying to make it to where I'm hands free. So I have a paper towel sitting right here. So I can sit my wet brushes there after I've done. I've already cleaned one and decided as I was cleaning this one that I was going to show you guys me clean this new kit that I got. So what I do, I've already wet this pad. And I'm just going to put some a few little drops of soap right there in the top. I have a cup right here with water in it. And I'm just going to brush my brushes up against this pad like this. And this is so easy. This make it so easy. And one thing about do cleaning your brushes, you know when your brushes is clean or if they're still dirty because they won't suds up when they're still dirty. And you'll see it suds more and more and more as they get clean. And 
I have a cup of water right here trying to dump them in but I don't want to soak them in that cup of water because you know it, it the uh, ferrule where the glue is that keep our brushes together can get worn down it makes it loose and put a few more drops I'm using this drops at a time the bottle says use a few drops and that's uh, should be all you need because they gave you just a small amount this is like a well, how many ounces is it an ounce this is a half an ounce bottle of brush cleaner and they tell you to just use drops so that's what I'm doing I'm just going to use drops and it's different gradients different um, textures on this pad so I figure it's a texture for everything because this, this, these are round right here, these are a zigzag, these are straight up and down squares, diamond shapes, straight up and down, uh, some thick and some thin, so they give you an option of what you need depending on what your brushes may need. I'm going to try to rinse most of the soap out in this water here, like that. But this is not my permanent rinse. I'm just going to rinse it out and sit it right there because I'm going to go through all my brushes again when I'm done and um, rinse them all out again. Okay, here's the brush. And this is, this is what this brush looks like now. I should have showed you guys what it was at first. or I think I did, but it's clean now. And this is a real technique brush. It's pretty dirty. And there's still soap on this board, so I'm going to see if I can utilize some of this soap. You are, you instantly see that the, um, that the, um, I tried to get all of that, the little rubbery stuff they had, the label stuck to this pad. Like that little rubbery stuff that be stuck on the back of your credit card. They had the paper stuck to the pad. I had to roll all that rubbery stuff off. Okay. So this brush is not quite clean. I'm going to put a drop or two right there in the middle. And you know the more it suds up, the more you know it's clean. It's getting clean. If it's not sudsing, it's not clean. And these ones with the white tips are easier to tell when they're clean because they have the white tips. Use my water. Okay, perfectly clean. Look not new. Look brand new. Okay. These are some little cheap brushes I got off of um, Wish, I think. And all of them, the handles came off. But I do like the brushes itself. This is good and dirty. It's even stiff. So I'm going to wet it, wring it out. There's still soap on this board. Oh, you could see how dirty this one was. I think I was using this one for contouring. Now when I really get the board dirty like this, I try to scrub a little bit, loosen up whatever's on this brush. I'm going to turn on my, my hot water. I do like to wash my brushes with hot water, but I don't let my brushes sit in hot water. Because again, it messes up the ferrule. I'm going to take my sprayer, that's what I use to wash my hair, and I'm going to rinse all that off. And I'm also going to refill my cup with water. Clean warm water, and my brush is already wet. Put a few drops again. I'm starting right here in the middle. I'm just going from section to section to see which one gets deeper up in that those bristles. I think this one does. So this brush is dirty. I told you this brush was super dirty. I think it had uh, 
cream contour and powder contour on it. Like it's sudsing, but it's not sudsing the way it would if it was clean. We're going to rinse some of that out. use some of this. This is I think is a little stronger than this brush. Let's see. A little something stronger. That's about the same. What I like about this the um the um target hand soap is it also has a moisturized moisturizer in it and that's good for your bristles and your brush I don't even know why I'm using this it's a, it's a pump right here full of hand so oh, there we go you gotta break all those oils down in your brush there you go I'm going to each different grade Get all up in there. There you go. Again, I got this kit at um at um TJ Maxx. It was ten bucks. It's like brand new. Again, I'm stacking my brushes right here because I'm going to rinse them all. Now let me show y'all real quick how I do smaller brushes. I try to find several brushes that are the same length. They're the same length or just small brushes. I, they don't really particularly have to be the same length. It's got to be close to the same way. Let's say like these. This is five brushes. All used for different things. Some is a little shorter than the other. But when you push them down this way, they all the same height when you push them down that way. Um, smaller brushes, I wash them all at a group of them at one time. So I'm going to dump them in the water, let them get wet. There's already soap on this brush. We're going to try to utilize what's on this brush. I mean, on the pad. Let me think this one's better for the smaller brushes. You can tell they're dirty because they taking the suds away. The oils in the makeup is taking the suds away. that I have this for water. We're going to use it on this side because we want it to go down into this grade right here. There you go. These are easy to clean because these are usually mostly shadow. Mostly eyeshadow or yeah, something mostly eyeshadow these brushes. This is a uh, wet and wild brush. I'm trying to get down to the roots of that brush. Kind of doing a figure eight. Sit there, thank you. This is a real technique brush. I use it for as my blending brush. This is my current 
favorite blending brush. These pink brushes I got, I think, off of some website. Well, I know off of some website. These pink brushes, they've been pretty good too. They, they came, they're pretty good and they come clean. Completely clean. This is a pencil brush. Came completely clean. This is a, let's see, which gradient would be better for these little ones? This is a little one. I don't know. I feel like this one's probably more comfortable for me. This one's popping the soap back. Brushes came clean super easy. I don't want them sitting in no water. All look brand new. Okay. Kabuki brush. It's pretty dirty. I use this for my uh, press powder. It's pretty dirty. It hasn't been washed in two days. So it's pretty dirty. I haven't even added any more. I haven't added more soap yet. But here we go. A few drops of this soap, and you can use dish liquid. Um, dish liquid is good for it because uh, you know dish liquid uh, removes grease, grease and oil, and. Our makeup brushes be full of oils and greases. Even our powder brushes, we think it's just full of powder, but the oil that's off of our skin end up in those brushes, in these brushes. And that's how you know when the brush is dirty, because the oil won't let the brush suds. Until you break the grease down, the oil down in the brush, it will not suds up. This brush, this is my favorite brush, by the way. My daughter bought it for me like two years ago for Christmas. I think I'm gonna show you guys a few more and then call it quits with the video. I didn't expect the video to be this long. Let's see. Got the soap dripping down. I don't use the whole thing. Let's use some. This is dish liquid. This is um, antibacteria. Uh, I forget what soap that is. What is that? Um, what dish liquid is this? Oh, it's palm olive. This is the dish liquid I use to wash my dishes with. So it's also antibacterial soap. And I feel like when you did a brush that's really, really hard, that's difficult to clean, you break out your dish liquid, and I promise you, it'll get it together. And I'm even though it might look like I'm scrubbing my brush hard, I'm not pushing down hard. I'm not pushing down hard because I really don't want to damage this brush. This is one of my favorite brushes for sentimental reasons. And it's a good brush for my powder. Okay, it's coming clean. I'm rinsing this and this is probably one of my more difficult brushes to clean too. As you all can see. Rinse this off again. that water out of there and then I'll go with some more of the dish liquid on this brush I think that's the better choice and now you can start seeing that the oils have broken down in this brush 
because it's lathering up really nicely in the soap of course is now white and again I'm not pushing down on the brush hard I'm just letting this little pad do what it do let it work its magic you know that problem all of a little goes a long way but that's how this brush still dirty. This is the most difficult brush I have to clean. But it will come completely clean and look brand new. scrubbing because of what gets what's really dirty still in here is just the center so I got to get down in that center part and put some soap down in there scrub down in there and also this is a little weird thing that I do sometimes when this brush give me problems and put some soap on it this is a throwaway spoolie, uh, you know, just disposable, I call it throwaway, uh, disposable spoolie. And when this brush really needs to get cleaned on the inside, I just open it up and let this brush, the spoolie kind of get in there and get the rest of that powder out of there. It's basically brushing the brush. Let's see. Yeah, it's almost there. This is the most difficult brush to clean the system. Still see a little bit of makeup coming out of it. When you squeeze it. See, soap is a little brown, still dirty. And we'll scrub it some more. I might have to sit this one to the side so it won't take up all my time. I'm gonna spray it with the spray real quick. I'm hoping that this helped. You know, somebody out I uh, posted a, a, a makeup video, a brush cleaning video before. I'm gonna spray the inside of this with warm water with the sprayer. It's still, it's clean. It's basically clean, but it can be cleaner. I can get this thing snow white. It takes a little bit more time. So, I'm gonna up there with it. I'm trying to knock the water off it so since it's supposed to sit here for a second. I want that water sitting in it, but look how white it is. And it gets whiter than this. It gets whiter than this. It's still I feel like I can clean it a little bit more, but I'm not gonna waste my whole time messing with that right now. Alright, so let's get a couple handful of brushes so we can knock them out. Uh, again, I try to do brushes that are similar in length when I can. I can knock out a couple brushes at once. 
right now I'm looking for longer brushes, some medium brush, some bigger brush. I'm looking for all longer brushes like so. Medium. I'm going to hand for the brushes on the wet them with the water here. I'm going to put some drops of the solution on the top. Couple brushes at once so we can get this knocked out. Look at that. That's a concealer brush. That's concealer on that one. And I really love disinfecting my brushes. I, I disinfect everything. I'm weird like that. I just put some of the um the um what is it called the um oh palm olive um oh one of those brushes oh that's this brush this brush being raggedy i just seen a few strands of hair come out this brush that's this little brush this is an elf brush and i could basically pull the rest of it out it's been falling apart i'll use it for my my uh tear duct area because it's it's a soft brush but it's gone now what this one got that concealer on there that one needs help right there that one's gonna need extra work this got concealer on it too these ones gonna need that um uh, mall of real soap. Those two are fine. Eyeshadow brushes. Let's knock out these concealer brushes. Let's try to put some more of the this is palm olive. I just put my soaps in a pump. This was palm olive. This is one is palm olive and one is uh antibacterial hand soap. They're both antibacterial, but of course the dish liquid is a grease, breaks down grease, and some more stuff. So. Yeah, that brush is getting back right now. Oh, I can still tow that brush up. Mm, that stained, I think. I think this brush is stained. Both of them are. Well, I know next time. See how steel tan this brush is supposed to be white. Like white like that. It's stained. Both of them are. They both have concealer on it. I wonder which concealer stained them like this. They're clean, as you see, they're sudsy, but they're stained. So, we're going to stop with those. I'm going to rinse them off. I'm going to put them right there. Okay, medium brushes. Again, here goes some concealer. I wonder what concealer, because I have just started using the Pro Long. For a long wear concealer. I wonder if that's staining my brushes. I know it's a good concealer. For a long wear. I guess it means that for brushes too. What came out of those? Yeah, it came out of those. Those are easy. And one of these brushes, this brush was 10 bucks wasn't worth nothing wasn't worth it but it says they lot a little brush I don't know what I was thinking it's a good brush but it wasn't it ain't ten dollars good for one I don't think so Shit, I don't almost did all my brushes right here so again I know my videos I, I believe that 
my few subscribers I have don't no one have uh, my uh, notification bell uh, rang I mean or pushed or clicked and so I think That plays a part in people seeing uh, my live videos, even though even though people don't come on here live to see the video, I always get views later on the videos. So I post them. It's 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 again just like my little mukbangs; they get seen eventually, and I post them just in case somebody could use the information or if someone's interested. Don't take this. These both have powders on them. One is a uh, highlight and one is a uh, uh, contour. Um, but yes, I, I post my little videos, my live videos where I'm not having to worry about editing when I feel like I have some content that somebody could use. These are, of course, real technique brushes. You can't miss them. Kind of tap the bottom of the cup just to push it out, but they come perfectly clean yes look brand new all right the only ones that haven't came perfectly clean is the uh those uh wet and wild brushes now this is probably just filthy because this is my favorite blending concealer brush it's a prevail brush this was like one of my first brush sets and I'm still in love with them but they're falling apart I've had them for a while but this is the one I use to blend my concealer almost every time I um, do my eyebrows I'm still kind of clean Uh, try to share the again the content and the information to use some of the um, palm olive. You can cut the grease that's in that um, concealer. My back's starting to hurt standing up this sink. Perfectly clean, though. I'm kind of pushing down on that one. These get used a lot. Okay, so I have a couple of big brushes here. Knock these gilded out. Brushes and uh, this is my foundation brush. Actually, this is my new foundation brush, and this brush came with this uh, brush cleaning kit, and I love it. This is like my new foundation brush. This is what I've been using because it works really well the angle the way it's shaped it has like a diagonal shape it works really well with blending my foundation all that oil full of foundation I've been watching today either instead of Thank 
try for a second. So these are easy. These are easy. These are very easy. Cleaning brushes, these are no big deal. They're pretty much was barely used. This has been used for brush. Suds up. Only powder has been in this brush. Let's see the cross there right there. This one has, I don't know what's been in there. It just looks like some type of powder. Contours or pressed powder or something. Yeah, these were easy to clean. These off. Those were easy to clean, so they weren't really dirty. Not the major rinse, just a minor rinse, because I'm going to rinse all of these brushes out again. And then I have to set them up with a dry hanging down. And I use this now, my, my um, dish rack. I have two of them. Um, I actually got it from... Um, the 99 cent store and um, let me get this out of here I got it from the 99 cent store they were I think $2 $2.99 each and I have one that I fold up and put it under my vanity when I'm not using it but when I clean my brushes I unfold it and I prop my brushes pointing down Oh, this is soaking up. It's not sudden. It's not lathering. And that tells me that this brush is not clean. Lather. So now I'm gonna do another clean on it with the dish liquid. Put the palm oil. Palm oil to break it down, break the grease, the oil down. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Now we're getting the foam. There you go. Now it's so good. I don't realize these brushes are stacking up. You can't see what I'm doing. Alright, and she is clean. Yeah. It will get rinsed thoroughly. These are on this end. Like so. And it should still be on the paper towel. Uh, this happened in front of two brushes this length. These purple brushes. Got a few of them that came in this bit. Got all the purple brushes. Okay. I'm going to try to do brushes that are not severely dirty. Give them the same length. Try to wash them all the same time. I think I'm gravitating to this like honeycomb shape part of the pad. Okay. 
so it should be made onto the board. Brushes are dual lended. With them. So, I just realized that two of these brushes have concealer in it. for my eyebrows too. with the medium ones and I should be able to clean all of these brushes in three quick washes or let's see one two three this is a dual and prevail brush this is only used for um, blush and, con uh, and highlighter. That's how these are used for. So, spray the soap on there. Blush brush and a highlighter brush. Great motion. Right. And then they will all be rinsed together. Okay. Do a handful of long brushes. I'm going to do a handful of medium brushes, and I'm going to do a handful of short brushes, and I will be done after that. Hopefully none of them have much concealer in it, because the concealer would hold the other. Concealer and foundation. I'm going to have 
coat with top on it. with them a little soap already here. One of these had lipstick on it. So let's put a little oil on here. I mean a little this liquid. with me, whoever, or nobody, whoever watched the video, thank you. Mm -hmm. Brushes are clean. Whoever didn't know that it takes this long to properly clean your brushes, now you know. I'm not even done. I'm not even done yet. For my shoulder brushes. These are all equal. You know, <clears throat> I can see some of these go in my purse. So I have a little kit, a little set of brushes that I keep in my purse. Just in case. Just in case I don't make that. Alright. Oh, that is dirty too. Ooh, 
all the good points. Get another drop of salt. I have this random brush sitting here. I don't know how I got passed up. This has lipstick on it. More soap, boom. Now, some people, um, when they use like something like this liquid, they add um, olive oil, a little drop of olive oil in, in the solution or whatever, so that. Um, Nice and good and I use a little bit of olive oil so the brushes don't get dry and brittle because the soap is so strong it's stripping moisture from the brushes. Alright. Oh, I got one more spoon here. And two brush heads. Oh, this is a, I should have called this brush cleaning brushes real time. Cleaning brushes. This is one of the pink brushes that was, I said it broke. And we have our couple of brushes that just can't hang. Still using some silver brush. Still a good brush, just don't got, I gotta put the handle back on. I will like I did with the other one. There you go. There's new. I have this one. These two are hiding in the bag. They don't want to get clean. These are the two that don't have handles that I gotta fix. Water popped on there. There's water popped on there. It did. That was that was pretty. I like the way it looks. All right, and there you have it. All my brushes are clean and fresh. All they need is a good quick um another spoon. That I use to go over my brows with to clean her up. She's this important, that is important. She's this is important because she's doing my face. She's doing that dirty. Um, yeah, but that's it. Turn the water off. That's it. That's how I clean my brushes. Um, I am going to rinse the, um, let me turn this this way. I am going to rinse them all thoroughly and prop them up upside down so that the water run, drains away from the ferrules and they come clean. I also got to clean my sponges. I think I'll do this without you guys, but I'll, and I only have three to clean, so. Start in this cup. So I just have these three uh, sponges to clean, and um, yeah, I just have to rinse my brushes. I just have to rinse my brushes thoroughly and prop them up upside down where the water drains away from the ferrule. The ferrule is where the glue is that keeps our brushes intact. Some brushes are just made weak, and it don't matter what you do to them they're just not strong and they fall apart like this but if you store your brushes down up this way um, after you wash them the water drains down into this part where the glue is and it weakens the glue and that's how you get shedding from your brushes or just damaged brushes that are no good anymore so you always store your brushes 
upside down so the water could drip away from the brush, away from the ferrule. In any case, I decided that this was something else that I wanted to share with my subscribers. I hope you guys see it and I hope it benefits you in any way. Um, in any case, uh, thank you for anybody that watches. I appreciate it. Um, I appreciate any support. Um, hit the notification bell just in case um, that's what's going on where people don't know that uh, I'm doing live videos. And if you're just not tripping, don't trip. You know, if you come through and see it, see it. And again, I appreciate it in any case. Love yourself and be happy. Give some of that away. Help somebody else love themselves and be happy. And always, always, always do your best to be your best because it's all he requires. And in case I talk to y'all later, you have a blessed day. Good night. I'm tired. Look, I'm sweating. I'm tired. Bye. Yes.